So this is going to be a quick love reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. All right. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. It's going to be completely about love. All right. Um, let's see. What am I listening to? Um, what is this? This is a Whitney Houston. It's not right, but it's okay. Yep. Um, so some of y'all feel that way. It's not right, but it's okay. It's, it's not right, but it's okay. You're going to find somebody. You're going to find somebody worth having. You're going to be all right. You're going to be okay. This is what Whitney's saying. Anyhow, let's move right along. Let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. How is Aquarius coming to this reading in terms of love? How's Aquarius coming to the three of cups? You, you're going to be all right and you're going to be okay. The three of cups, you're having fun. Maybe you're dating, you're getting out there, or at least you're trying. You feel victorious. You feel triumph, you know, even in the midst of maybe not having the one. Um, you also feel like this is the initial stages of creation. You're getting to a place of... Uh, maybe get into that that point where you're going to meet the one. Let's see. Wow, the sun card says the one. It says that you can meet someone who brings a lot of happiness, contentment, joy into your life. The one here. It's like you know that it's coming because this is what you've been manifesting. One more card for how the Aquarius feels. Wow, the nine of swords. So some of you are in a place of, is it really going to happen? When is it going to happen? I'm tired of being by myself. I'm tired of sleeping alone. I'm tired. I'm just done with, you know, being kind of alienated or isolated or not finding people to my liking or finding people who play too many games or they have many people. Uh, they don't want to do the one-on-one -on -one connections. They don't even want to give it a try. Um, also, this is also some of you feel like you don't have a lot of time to spend on dating. Uh, with the nine of swords here you also suffered some disappointment uh, people being disagreeable either you or other people uh, it, this has made you feel depressed because you know people don't understand your heart they don't understand how you come to the relationship you love hard you mean well you'll give your all and for some of you only to be taken advantage of but you are manifesting new love so let's see um what do the cards want to tell the Aquarius in terms of um, future energy, future energy for love, the King of Swords? So this could be you, Aquarius, or this is someone that you're dealing with or that you will have in, in the near future. This could be uh, Capricorn, Scorpio, another Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, but it could be anybody. It could be somebody who, you know, they when they do decide to settle down, they have high standards. So um, you're going to find someone who has high standards and you're going to meet those standards here. This is also somebody who feels like they can be a bachelor for the rest of their life. Like they could just be a player, play it. Uh, maybe you'll change their position. You know, you'll change their mind. They'll make some head over heart decision in terms of you, the relationship. What's coming for the Aquarius? The seven of pentacles. Yeah. What you've been waiting for, who you've been waiting for with the seven of pentacles here. It seems as if, um, all right, so the Seven of Pentacles talks about finishing what you started. I don't know if you know this person already, if you've already had a relation or relations with this person. Most times when you come into tarot card readings, it is about past people. It is about people that you have um, already have some type of situationship with. Um, so this could be someone from your past Aquarius. This could be somebody waiting for, or was waiting for the prime opportunity to kind of pounce, pounce on you when they thought you were single. Yeah. Uh, the Hierophant, this could be some like-minded individual or someone who feels like you're like-minded. Therefore they want to be with you. They want to be with you in some capacity in the near future. For some of you, you could have like a big wedding says the Hierophant. Also it talks about, you know, the universe trying to bring two very different people back together uh the hierophant talks about mediation and guidance so maybe you're being guided back towards someone or they're being guided back towards you um you guys had to separate to figure out something you know individually all right what's in the near future one more card for the aquarius for love 
Yeah, the will of fortune, the will of change. So I don't know, somebody's changed, their position has changed, their mindset has changed, what they want from you has changed with the will of fortune here. Um, also alignment, like somebody's coming into alignment or the universe is aligning you and this person so you guys can come together and actually have something worth having. Again, change is highlighted here. Soulmate, destiny. This could also be for some of you who are hoping for new. This could talk about meeting someone new, you know, um, someone that you fall in love with instantly, maybe even love at first sight. This talks about a high level soulmate. So those who want something new, call it, call it what you want. The will of fortune will be somebody new. It will not be someone coming back around change. You don't want it. You don't want that, you know, whatever. What's the advice for the Aquarius? Okay. What's the advice for Aquarius? Advice for Aquarius. What's the advice for Aquarius? The nine of cups, you're going to get what you want, Aquarius. And everybody wants something different. The nine of cups here. So, um, and this could also be somebody who, it's just fun uh, it's good feelings. It's the exertion of, um, you know, uh, good emotions, uh, love, laughter. This even talks about good sex with the nine of cups here. Uh, wow. The, the, the queen of wands definitely attracting to yourself, Aquarius. What is you want? This also talks about being on your life purpose. Most times they say that you find your person when you're in your life purpose. So, uh, for some of you, you're, gonna, you're attracting that energy to you. You also are very vibrant. There's a lot of energy being attracted to you. Wow, the Five of Swords in reverse. None of these cards should be reversed, but this is um, very nice. Um, the Five of Swords in reverse. So some of you, if you have Venus and Aquarius, it's like you're trying to come out of that very fight or flight type of energy. You're, you're, you're coming, you're being softer in your approach. Uh, maybe less aggressive and this could be subconscious maybe you didn't even know you were coming off in that manner maybe you didn't know you were coming off as masculine maybe you didn't know you were coming off as aggressive um dominant um my way or the highway uh, maybe you're now in a place of questioning your motivation you know for certain things or for going after certain people um this is good you're not in that also, bad blood is being dispelled between you and somebody else. Upright, it would be bad blood. Um, it's a frustration. It is, um, you know, not talking. This is a, this would be estrangement, a lack of communication, um, breakdown in communication. Also, this would be backbiting. This would just be all out together, a, a war, a war of words. This is, um, again, frustration, but you're coming out of that. So this could be with somebody from your past, whomever, for some of my Aquarius, especially my Aquarius women here, you got the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess, so sexy, 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 okay? Um, just your demeanor, you know, is sexy. With the High Priestess here, it says that how men or a man that knows you, that you've been in his life before, um, this, I'm talking to the women now, they, they look at you as the number one woman. You're the woman above all other women that they know. You're a threat to the other women that they know with the high priestess and the queen of wands here. You're mysterious. You're, you come off as unattainable, sexy. You exude sex, not even trying to, um, some of you are refraining from sex and you're drawing a lot of people into you or a lot of pe people are looking at you or they just don't understand what it is about you that is so magnetizing or, you know, you, you're a magnet or you're a people magnet. You're also maybe an opposite sex magnet. So that could be for my men and my women, but definitely for the women, it's just like more so um, you're harnessing all of that feminine energy within you, especially those of you who are reframing from sexual activity with other people. Okay. Um, let's see. This is really good, Aquarius. Um, it looks like you're going to bring somebody into you. All right. So let's say get the Kipper deck. Let's see what the Kipper deck has to tell us in terms of so this journey card at the bottom of the deck, it looks as if there could be somebody coming 
and somebody arriving for you because this talks about a part uh it talks about departure and arrival so maybe somebody new arriving in your life aquarius especially with that sun card very nice all right let's see what's the future energy for the aquarius collective in terms of love all right future energy for the aquarius collective um judication somebody wants you to hear them out somebody wants you to uh, mediation you know and it's got three people in this card and it's got three people in the hierophant like somebody wants mediation they want guidance they want some they feel like you're a like-minded individual hear me out aquarius i i am um, i love you I, I like you um we, we both get along there's a lot of chemistry hear me out is what someone is saying in the near future um what else do we have for the aquarius in terms of love for the near future the pathway all right, so something new could be opening up for you. Maybe even somebody new. Um, you're deciding to not go backwards. You've been doing something for an extended amount of time. This talks about one to two years, maybe dealing with somebody off and on one or two years or more. But uh, this card specifically talks about one to two years. But now it talks about moving on a different path or in a different path. Um, newness, opening up uh, doors of opportunity for yourself. What is what do we have for the Aquarius? Wow, sudden wealth. Now this could be, um, of course, sudden wealth. It could be about money. Uh, we know that money for Aquarius is looking better and better each and every reading. Um, but this could be suddenly maybe um, having. Whoa, I don't know. Maybe some of you gonna marry into money with a wealthy man at the bottom of the deck, or you are the wealthy man. Suddenly you have somebody worth. Um, having the past is a no-go you're not going back to it you've moved away from it and you moved away from it quickly with a change card here um, you left somebody in the dust uh, for a new relationship that's going to bring a lot of fortune wow Aquarius you have great fortune in the house some of you are going to get an actual physical house you're going to be very fortunate but this house card talks about a relationship too again this card talks about the sunset and then the uh, sunrise, so something arriving and then something leaving. So maybe that old relationship that was going nowhere is leaving out of your life and something new is transpiring for you, Aquarius, an official person, somebody who deals with you officially, someone who wants to be official in your life. Whoa, and it's another person just in despair because you didn't choose them. You didn't choose to play games with them. This could be some older man who was waiting for you to come and talk to them and uh, reach out to them but they're going to be highly depressed because you're done with this um again the journey card coming up because something new someone new is arriving in your life you could even be moving away aquarius uh you knew that this person was false okay you knew that um maybe this was like a sneaking around type situation it was like sex only and somebody cut it off um somebody was already married somebody was already uh yeah couple and, and they wanted to sneak around with you, Aquarius, and you cut it off. And now this person is wondering, what you're doing? How you doing it? Where you at? Let's leave Aquarius with something that they should be focused on moving forward in uh, their love life. What should Aquarius be focused on moving forward in their love life? What should Aquarius be focused on moving forward in their love life? Windfall. So windfall of good, good energy, uh, good luck money very nice maybe even a new career let's see what aquarius should be focused on moving forward do the grief work okay retire this relationship heavenly signs are showing you that this ain't it it's not where it's at but also forgive forgive yourself first and then other people this is what i have for you aquarius i hope that it resonates for you if it does go over to the website book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time you can also come to the go over to the website um and book tarot classes with me you can learn the tarot with me uh thank you aquarius many blessings to you take care